What kind of a scam is this? Well, over and over again, what we've seen from the complaints, bait and switch is the term that comes up. Bait and switch. Bait and switch. And, and it's kind of obvious from the ads. When you see an ad that says they're going to offer this cleaning for forty nine ninety five, and then they come into your home, and the next thing you know, they present you a bill that could be $600, $1,000, in some cases, $5,000 or $6,000, then it seems clear that the ad is designed to get them in the home. What makes people so vulnerable to this sort of thing? Well, very few of us are very, very knowledgeable about air duct cleaning. I mean, I've never looked in my air ducts. No. I don't know about you. Uh, I've had my air ducts cleaned, but of course I made sure I was dealing with a reputable company, but very rarely do we understand how it works, uh, how long it should take, how much it should cost. On average, it should cost between 400 and 800 dollars or more for someone to do a proper cleaning of your ducts, depending on the size of your house, and it should take several hours. And yet in these cases, they're coming in for maybe an hour or two. They're advertising very low prices, so there's a lot of red flags there. Who are these outfits targeting? Well, in some ads, we found them targeting the elderly. Elderly. Uh, absolutely. In our area, they offer discounts if you were a senior citizen or if you were a government worker or a health care worker. And in talking to former employees, they said they were told to look for people like this because they're going to have more disposable income, probably more money, nicer homes. Where do they find these technicians? Many of the employment ads that we have seen have been on sites like Craigslist. Uh, they're using electronic media to put the jobs out there. And unfortunately, when you read the ads, you see that it says, no experience necessary. How many victims do you suppose are out there? Well, I know if you combine the complaints registered just with Better Business Bureaus alone, there's hundreds, hundreds. if not more. But I'm sure there's many more people out there who don't even know they've been Either don't scammed. know they've been victimized or didn't report it. I know in, in Huntsville, Alabama, we had just a few complaints when we first understood what was going on. And after we were able to uh, report that through media, we had many more complaints because people realized they had been duped, but they weren't really sure when it happened. What should people do if they see an ad like this, forty nine ninety five, fifty nine ninety five? Well, there's a saying that Better Business Bureau always uses that the lowest price isn't necessarily the best price. So we want people to understand that, you know, they say you get what you pay for. In this case, you might not even get that. We want people to shop around, but they, they need to be educated, and that's what it takes. It's educating the public about this. And if the public understands that this is a bait-and-switch uh, scam, then hopefully they're going to steer clear of it. And if the money's not coming in, hopefully they're not going to do this any longer.